started this walk with, with uh, Bob Trench and I soon found out that if you were Holy Spirit deaf, you had a problem if you were going with Bob Trench anywhere. If you had said to Bob, listen, I'll go with you, you better make sure that your oil was full and it was running over. If it wasn't, you were in trouble, I promise you. So I had quite a walk with him. And, uh, <laughs> uh, I won't mention the hotel, but one of the better known hotels in Durban, we had a meeting and a businessmen's meeting and I was then on the board of directors and <laughs> as the meeting got going one of the brothers killed over and he died and they carried him downstairs there were two doctors in, in the group and one of the doctors went down came back and announced that the chap had passed away and Somebody suggested to the second doctor, they said, well, look, you know, can't we have a second opinion? No, no, not belittling the first doctor in any way, but, you know, can't we have a second opinion? Like, so this chap went down and he came back and he said, no, definitely, he's, he's gone. So Trench says to me, I've just heard from the Lord. I said, what's that? He said, let's go and raise him from the dead. <laughs> I said, I'll book you into Marysburg tomorrow morning. He said, don't talk nonsense, come on, let's go. So two of us walk out. And uh, one of the doctors, no names, no pectoral. And Bob says to me, stand at the feet. So I stand at the feet. He's at the head. And he says something in this vein, I can't remember exact words. You angel of death, you are ahead of time. You have no right to take this man. He's got plenty work still to do. And so I am commanding him in the name of Jesus Christ to come back. And the man sits up and the doctor runs away. <laughs> and so did I almost. <laughs> so the guy was brought back to life. And uh, yeah, that was one of the experiences that I, I had with Bob.